What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, I was against this Colorado Adult Clan. You see, Invicta was victorious, 112 to 81. But uh, you know, these guys gave it their best. Uh, 74 attacks. <clears throat> Let's roll over and see what they did to our base. Uh, it's our Town Hall 8 there. They got a three star. Basically, twos on most of our nines. They had a few bully attacks that came down. Uh, got a few three stars on our nines, but. <clears throat> and missed one, missed mark. I don't think they two started mark. Yeah. Other, otherwise, uh, they gave it their best. So good for them. Uh, really nice guys. We were kind of chit chatting back and forth uh, through the clan messages, and then uh, afterwards, uh, JP went over and said hi. So it was, uh, was kind of cool. And then their leader, I, I believe it was their leader. I'm not sure. Uh, this guy Jake came back over to our clan just to kind of say hello and whatnot so it was really nice to see some uh some friendly guys that uh just have some fun playing the game so uh we're gonna roll through their bases now we did snake two three stars both by tater just went off this war six star war uh, town hall 10 so good for him uh and we cleaned up all their nines so invicta uh good job that's obviously our goal is to always clean the nines and give our town hall 10 three star shots so <clears throat> uh, let's start this off with Tater's Beast Mode. Uh, his first attack was on number 8. Going in here, so it's a bit of that ring style base. Tater drops his queen. <laughs> first of all, Tater doesn't have a king, so let's make this a note. No king. Drops his queen all on her, all on her own up the top, and then decides to drop a haste with like 8 looms down here. Loons take out the a uh, bunch of defenses, including the air defense down there. Queen is still doing worse. She rages it up, takes down the air defense, and basically the same thing that the loons did. So she did her work. They did their work. Now, the interesting part of this raid is this. That arch queen is still alive. Tater doesn't care. Tater is a boss. Sends in his two lab hounds. <laughs> sorry, three lab hounds on this air defense. Basically, does a little bit of a spread on his loons. He's just going to converge right into the middle of the space. Now, the, him taking out these defenses and these defenses with the first two little pieces of his attack means his balloons are just going to go straight up and through the middle. So he brings haste. He brings rages. He's got this huge chunk of loons converging. Drops the freeze spell. Keep in mind, this queen has been doing work on them the whole time. And it doesn't matter. The, the loons just walk right up. He drops a few backside to kind of keep that funnel going. He wants everything to finish right about there, which it's looking good. The queen is now out of range, so she stops attacking everything. This hound has just the perfect amount of health. Watch the timing on this hound. Right as it gets over here, boom, it's going to burst. Loons are on the Archer Tower, the only thing that can actually kill the Hounds except for this Queen. So he's got a full thing of, uh, sorry, not Hounds, Pups. But he's got a full thing of Pups now, and as soon as they get in range, that Archer Queen is finally going to go down with like 80-some percent of this base destroyed. Archer Queen goes down. Tate, you rip this base apart. Good job, man. Very impressed. Three stars. So next attack by Tater, a little bit different of a base design. Uh, not a not bad, but Tate decides that this is the exploit right here. The fact that these infernos are right next to these air defense, he's gonna drop an earthquake, three lightning spells, see you later inferno, see you later air defense. Taking care of that air defense, he's gonna start his queen walk over by these army camps drops a bunch of healers behind him his goal now is to get this defensive arch queen and then eventually he's going to get the cc lure and take out the cc with the queen as well here so it creates a funnel he just doesn't want anything f fancy happening with this queen here she gets pretty low but not a big deal defensive queen is down he drops these loons to get the lure lure comes out oops uh he's going to rage it up now Rages it, takes out the CC. She is now full health. This Archer Queen walk is just going perfectly. She's going to keep moving along, and then he's just going to commence with his air attack. So he drops a few more loons to kind of start moving towards the core from behind this Lava Hound. 
drops the other lab a hound up right right in this section that sweeper is going to be working against him but it doesn't matter he's got two haste and a rage he's gonna i believe haste right around this section um because he wants to yeah hey there's the haste it's going to move everything up he's got a bunch of looms moving down through haste here he still has two lava hounds up on this last air defense he's got one more rage so the rage is going to go down here he really wants the rage to land on this inferno tower boom perfect rage placement right on the edge of that inferno still has a lava hound that is isn't burst Boom, right there. Perfect timing because the balloons are right on top of that air defense. Ha pops all over this base. It is GG. Queen is still full health, continuing her walk. Never dies. Tate, just rip this apart. Keep in mind, guys, no king. No king. Tater, very impressed, man. Good war for you. So let's check out some of these Town Hall 9 attacks. We definitely had a lot of good ones. Uh, obviously I can, I can only show a few. We're going to start with my boy Jay Partial. Number 28 hit number 16. Not a, necessarily a bad base design. Uh, um, bad is not the right word. Uh, I'm happy to see a base design that is the, clearly the guy just made it himself. I don't know if he took it from somewhere else, but not necessarily a form base. But JP broke this down very nicely. So he's going to come and shatter with 30 hogs. One jump, three heals, and a poison. He's uh, JP. If you notice, he takes that full 30 seconds. That's him going over the attack in his head. I've I've <laughs> been in enough sketches and twiddlers with the, this guy to know what that 30 seconds means for him. It's awesome because he's going to drop that golem. He always has patience with his other golems as well. Just working these buildings out. Really, he's about to drop another golem down here. There it is. Oh, there's a little hole there. Drops the golem right in that little hole continues his funnel finally places the jump super patient with that jump that's what i love about jp is little his patience here cc comes out he drops the poison drops his heroes right in this little hole see you can barely see them but his queen and just his king now just goes down so they're going to continue working out this section of the base he's got a couple gold my tank and that tesla up there really their job is done though so he starts his hogging he sends a, a, a four hogs three hogs you know, he really just wants to start working this ring because now that this core is starting to be taken out, the hogs are just going to work their way around, you know, in a clockwise motion. So first heal goes down because of the Tesla. He's kind of worried about this position here, I'm very sure, because there's probably some bombs up there. As soon as the hogs go through, though, thinking you're going to see bombs go off. Oh, just small bombs. Oh, the double giant bomb got... Uh, triggered there in the middle so perfect for him heels are down anyways not sure where the other bombs are in this base he's looking good from this point i don't know if they're somewhere in here because i think the queen took this defense i think they're right in between here so either way this gigantic pack of hogs <laughs> this base is finished drop some cleanup wizards jp just fucking killed it oop I swore. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> but <laughs> that might have deserved the, the F word there. <laughs> Good job, JP. Alright, next attack. Uh, who did I have down here? 19. This base gave us some trouble. We're just going to go here right now. 19. Oh, I want defenses. Nine <laughs> attacks on 19. Darth Tater, considering Tater was the guy who had our two Town Hall 10 three stars, it's kind of fitting. Nine defenses, man. Good job, buddy. So Logic finally breaks it down with his max heroes and his little shattered uh, queen walk here. He's going to start a queen walk in from this section. He's basically going to move his way down in a clockwise motion. Creates a bit of funnel with, the, uh, with his minions there. Really, once that army camp goes down, his queen's just going to continue this, this motion clockwise. So he's taking out all this section of the base. He's basically going to, uh, his idea here is he's going to send his golems in from down here, jump in and get that queen, and he's basically taking out this half of the base. 
So the wizard goes down to help out on this uh, elixir storage because the uh, air defense now starts targeting the healer. So that could have been a problem for him, but he ends up pulling through it because his queen just keeps moving. Doesn't really matter. He commences with his golems down here, like I had mentioned. Continues with the wizard funnel. Eventually, he, you know, he's going to open this wall with some wall breakers and then just jump right into that section. So queen even though it has the lock, uh the crossbow locked on her is still okay because once she once she uses her ability actually no she walks out of range so even more perfect crossbow locks on the golem cc is out he drops the poison that valk is in a little bit of problem because uh takes out all his wizards there and he has to raise the queen but it doesn't matter because really their job is done like there's 42 percent of this base taken care of and he still has 21 hogs and three heals so he's looking good he's about to commence his hog in a few seconds and here come the hogs few to drop to take out that mortar and then the rest uh, a huge chunk of them in on this double tesla section drops the heel though for them no problem for that double tesla tesla one goes down tesla two goes down with the king on him even drops a few more for reinforcement really just going to continue sprinkling hogs in around this base as they move he's going to drop a few on this cannon and archer tower yeah, three, two, two, or one, sorry. One more heal in the bag. He's just going to drop it over this 12 o'clock section, and he is looking golden from this point. Bomb goes off. It doesn't matter. They're standing on their heels. King is still just trying to do something. Doesn't matter. Both his max heroes are still standing in there doing work. Logic just killed it. <laughs> Ninth attack for the win. Darth Tater, props to you, man. All right. Let's show you one more here, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, it was Zan. Zan's attack here on 24. It really impressed me. Symmetrical base, not the greatest base design, you know. But Zan does some cool stuff here. So, four. look at his army count. Four heals, 36 hogs, handful of wizards. He's basically uh, one golem in the CC. Drops the golem. It's almost dead already, but it drops his king and then uh, queen. Uh, no, he saves his queen. That's right. Drops the king to take out the defensive queen. Gets the CC lure, and then he ends up dropping his uh, the poison on everything to take it out and drops his queen to finish it off. Very neat, neat thinking with this. Uh, so you'll see the Valk and the archers are going down. Dragon's going to get taken right down. He's, then he's going to drop his queen in this corner. It's going to move over. He's going to have no problems because the only thing there is that splash damage. Queen goes down. Dragon's coming over. It's at half health. She's just going to stand there, do a little work on those mines. And then the drag's going to come over. She's going to finish that off. Nothing is touching her. Great placement on that, Zant. Then he's going to send in his hogs. He's got hogs, four heals. He just doesn't care. Really, is just sprinkling hogs in an all section of this base he first heel goes down second heel is going, going to go down in a second there it is double giant bomb tech goes off but it doesn't even matter because a huge chunk of his hogs was already over that wall and only got hit by one of them so he's got just a ton of hogs plus his queen still doing work full health uh wizards are down now cleaning up Still has five hogs in the bag. He's going to drop from this 12 o'clock section with the giant. Giant gets great value there with the three point, point defense uh, on it. Drops all his hogs from the top. Uh, or the 12 o'clock. They're almost on the cannon before it even takes damage because of that giant. So great job. So many hogs left. He loses a few to spring traps, but it really doesn't matter. It's pretty much cleaner from this point. Zan just killed it. You know, 15, 15 heroes, man for a max town online defense pretty much you really know how to break it down good job buddy three stars all right so Zan just killing it and honestly a uh, good war by Invicta nice to have uh, nice to have a couple of town all 10 three stars to show and a clean board on the nine so Great job, guys. Uh, we have a huge war coming up on Saturday against Wiz on our face, too. Uh, basically, the Invicta of Wiz on our face. So, hopefully, we got some great content coming from that. 
I don't know if there's any streams going on for it, but it's going to be an awesome weekend. All of us are looking forward to it. So uh, until then, guys, this is Wiser. I'm out.